Hello friends, we are back with another dose of phrasal verbs, words with the appropriate prepositions. Starting with bound for, bound for means a destination is fixed. The place where you have to go is fixed, that is bound for means. The train is bound, this train is bound for the capital city. So it has to reach there, that's the destination. Break into. Break into, uh, we said, uh, robbers broke into my house at midnight. So what is break into means? Enter and enter without per permission, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> break into. So, uh, last night uh, by 12.30, robbers or a thief broke into my house. But I was awake and therefore they could do nothing. <laughs> that is another thing. Bring about, bring about uh, reforms, we said. So that means, that means to put into practice or materialize, we said also. The Emperor, Emperor Ashoka brought about many reforms. Bring up, means children are brought up by parents. Parents bring up children, allow them to grow, make them grow and protect them, guard them, all these things. Together you bring up. Then brood over. Means think, think, but very sadly about something. Brood over. Don't brood over your past mistakes. You can brood over your past mistakes provided you correct them, provided you don't repeat them in your life. Okay, brood them, brood over. Busy with. You are very busy with this. No? The CEO is very busy with this. Official matters, see, very busy. Call on, means to visit. Usually we call on our parents on Sundays. I mean, when you are, suppose you are staying away and you are in your own nuclear family on Sundays, you, f you fix Sundays for calling on your parents. Call it, to stop for a short time. That is, on the way to a picnic, we call that our friends. Only we call that our friend. It's a very, for a very short period. Short time, not even period. Call for. Means the CEO called for all the important files. That means the CEO asks others to bring all the important files into his office. To call for. To invite, he can say. Or to ask them to bring. And then we have care for. It's simple care for uh, parents care for their children. Simple. Our guardians care for us. We care for our parents, our aged parents care for. So all these words are very important and very good. Day-to-day -day use, you can use them. If you remember these and also the prepositions, you will never make a mistake. So I hope that this class has benefited you a lot and so bye for the time being.